sat back and enjoy Hollywood sports entertainment. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Hollywood sports. Guys, I want to do a tutorial on how to train your players in franchise mode. I was just about to train my players when I said, you know what? Let me do a video and show people how to exactly train your players in franchise mode. Because I know a lot of you guys are waiting before the Operation Sports uh, uh, rosters, you know, uh, AAA rosters. You're waiting on the rosters to be done for Operation Sports. So when you get your franchise going, I'm going to show you guys how to do training. So let's do it. Boom. Okay, let's go into training. Now, this is real simple. For me, I'm just going to go to um, each position instead of putting all. Okay, now, as you can see, we have James Paxton, uh, our number one starter right now. He's an overall 88, but it's on auto. I don't want it on auto, but what we want to focus on, if you can see his numbers to the right, his arm strength and arm acceleration, arm strength at 58, um, arm acceleration at 38. See, those are really low numbers, so we want him to train in those areas which means a combination toss on his training but i don't want to know auto so let's go there we go combination toss so those is that's what he's going to train on to get those numbers up that 58 and that 38. now let's go to our second starter in a rotation which is mike leak um he's also weak in that area um he's got a 56 and a 38. um is anything else but he has a k's through nine he has a, a 48 rating um let's see yeah but let's work on his arm strength let's leave it right there okay now felix hernandez is our third guy in the rotation he used to be our starter um our, our number one starter but right now as you can see um his uh k's through nine is a rating 68 uh i mean hits through nine is a 68 uh strikeouts through nine is 62 um based on bars through nine is 62 and home runs is 57. So, but let's see what he really needs to work on. Let's go here, here. Uh, let's see. He really needs to work on. Okay, let's look. Let's keep going. No training. Uh, stamina is good. Um, um, arm strength is okay. All right. Uh, fielding reaction is okay. Because uh, you know when they, those pitches get hit, that ball comes back up to them and they need a good reaction time so they don't get hurt. At least knock the ball down. Now his clutch is 64. Um, so we're going we're gonna to keep it right here, guys. We're going to work in his pitching coach sessions. So he can get raise his numbers up as far as um, hits, uh, strikeouts, base on balls, which is walks, and um, what is that? That's uh, home runs which is a 57. So we're going to let his training be there. Now, Sasha Iwakuma is our fourth starter. is the overall 80. Um, and right now, it's set for his bullpen session. Um, he can work on his control velocity and break on the ball. His break is 80, but his control is 75. Velocity is 51. So we need to get his velocity up, but I want to work on his arm strength and arm um, accurate uh, acceleration because that's only a 48 and a 43 so we'll go ahead and work on that for him as combination toss in his training okay then we have a Rosmo Ramirez uh, we can work on his uh, right now his uh, let's work on his building uh, let's go let's go over here okay again his arm strength is okay but his arm acceleration is bad um, I guess you have to work in combinations. Um, let's see. Now, his fielding and reaction time is pretty low. It's in the 40s. So let's have him work on that for right now. Okay. Um, and let's see. We have two guys in the AAA. Right now, I'll leave those guys on auto right now in the AAA. All there be on auto. Um, so let's go to our relief pitchers. Um, why is these on auto? I could have sworn I put these on manual. Anyway, we can go ahead and switch them, guys. Uh, arm strength and arm acceleration, which is a lot of guys a weekend. And he's a uh, he's a relief pitcher, man. Um, so we need to switch that. Let's let's put that on combination toss. There we go. He's a 54. Anything lower than that? His stamina is a 24. Yeah, most. Relief pitchers don't have a lot of stamina. They can't go a lot of innings. 
but we can work on his arm strength, guys, so these guys don't get injured. He's overall 82. Okay, Mike Morin is another reliever we got. Uh, let's see where he's weak at. Uh, uh, arm strength and arm acceleration, 64 and 58. And stamina is 24. So let's go ahead and work on that, guys. Um, his durability is okay at 73. Let's go ahead and get his combination toss. We got to increase these guys' arms, man. Relievers, man, their arms got to be ready to go. Um, we don't need to worry about their, uh, a lot of, you know, through nine type of numbers. They won't be pitching a lot of innings. Um, then we have Juan Nicasio. Nic <laughs> so his right now, his, his is set on pitching coach sessions, um, through nine. Um, let's see, let's go ahead and, oh, look at his arm acceleration. It's 18. Um, look at his building. It's only 15. Let's see. So let's let's work on his building and reaction right now and get that 15 up. Okay, another reliever we have is David Phelps. We're going to uh, get his training up. Right now he's clutch is 64. Uh, we're going to work on his field uh, arm strength. Uh, let's see where he's really bad at. We're not worried about stamina. These guys aren't pitching a lot of innings. They're just coming in and doing their job. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's leave it right there. Combination toss. Then we have Dan Altubila. <laughs> He's really low in fielding. Uh, when that ball get hits back up the middle to him, arm strength 55, arm acceleration. So let's go. Yeah, let's leave a combination toss. You know, actually, let's get his fielding up. His fielding and reaction time is a 28. Let's get that up. And then uh, next reliever is James Pazos. Man, these baseball names are just aren't easy. You know, they, they are not easy. But he has some really good numbers, man. His arm strength is 66. Um, arm acceleration, 47. Let's see, where, where, can, where can he train at? Uh, pitching coach sessions. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Stamina, 22. Yeah, let's leave it. Uh, actually, let's get his building and reaction time up. That, yeah, that's probably the lowest one on the board. I mean, his control is 43. You know, relievers have to have really good control. Um, but let's get that building up. Let's get that building up. Okay. Triple A, we're going to leave for auto right now. Let's we go. Let's be looking to bring somebody up. And then we can put him in the training mode. Um, okay, now, I'm glad I looked at this, guys. All these are auto. I could have sworn I put it on when you first start your franchise mode. Unless you do manual or auto. Okay, our closer, Edwin, Edwin Diaz. Okay, where is his numbers at? Building. Uh, let's see. Man, look at his strikeouts through nine. 97 is rated. Woo! He's a, he's a horse, boy. He's a horse. Uh, we can get, uh, you know what? Let's work on his stamina, man, because sometimes a closer, they have to do a lot of work, guys. So we're going to work on his physical, physical condition. So he doesn't get tired out there. Uh, you know what that stamina bar is over your pitcher and his control? I think it's stamina and control. We want his stamina up there when he's trying to close games, guys. We don't want that arm getting tired. And it's only a 25. So we want to get his uh, up, get him up there. Okay, now let's go to catcher. Mike Zanino is our starting catcher. And let's see. Steel, we ain't worried about Mike stealing. He, we ain't worried about his speed. Um, his vision. Uh, let's see, based on uh, his clutch, it's already on there, his hitting coach sessions. Uh, let's see, drag bunt, we don't want, need him to bunt, we need him, he, he, we need him to hit home runs, man. That's what we need from him. Um, I guess being a back catcher, his blocking is good, his reaction is good, which is a 62, not bad. Um, drag bunt, well, again, we don't want him to bunt, but we can get his vision up. Uh, let's see. We can get his vision up. All right. So, the numbers are pretty good, balanced all across the board. Um, his speed is really low. You know what? Let's work on his speed. Maybe, um, let's see. Arm acceleration is good at 68. You got to throw people out at second. You know, you really got to take your time and, and make sure these guys are training in the right areas, man, where their weak is at. Durability 75, uh, arm strength, arm acceleration. Uh, I mean, he's, he's kind of good, man. Let's, let's, let's work on clutch, which is, let's work on his vision and clutch. 
which is 23 vision and 36 clutch. There we go. All right, then our backup catcher. Um, we're gonna do the same thing. All right, well his vision is 71. Um, so I guess we can work on his power versus left hand and power versus right hand. His power versus left hand is 29. So um, we gotta get him in the weight room. But I just don't want it auto. There we go. We're gonna get him in the right room for power. Now I like my catchers to have power. Let's see, Mike says Mike says Zanino power was 87. See, I know. Yep. This guy's power is only 29. So good. Okay, now let's go to first base. Alright, which is Ron Healy, our starting first baseman. Um, let's see where he's low at. Uh um, his disc. I don't know what that disc means. Um his vision 59, clutch 69. Uh, we don't need him to steal. And we got we got some good base stealers on our team. He's a 45 speed. Um, the first baseman. What, what can we work on? Okay, those are okay. Uh, yeah, let's work on these numbers, guys. Let's work on those numbers. They're kind of low. All right. And our second baseman, Robinson Cano. Uh, we definitely could use some speed on Robinson Cano, guys. So let's increase the speed, which is already there. It's auto sprints. Let's go to sprints where it's not on auto. Okay, you need to work on his sprints, guys. We need him to get some speed. Um, you know, he has a low steal, but his numbers are pretty good across the board. So let's let's get that speed up from 31, guys. All right, our third baseman, Kyle Seeger. Uh, right now, it has him on running drills again. Um, he has stealing. Do we really want Kyle Seeger to steal? I mean, uh, we can get it, let's see, uh, we can kind of get it still up, I guess. Uh, his numbers, uh, let's see, drag bunt. Let's get his drag bunt up, guys. Let's get his bunt. We want, no, we want Kyle Seeger to kind of swing for the fences, man. Um, you know, we got to get really experienced in this, guys, to know exactly how we want to do it. But this is how you, you get these guys training going. So we got a bunt and drag bunt. Um, but you know what? Um, let's, he got to go around his base pads, man. So let's work on his speed. Let's work on Kyle's speed. There we go, right there. Let's get his speed up. He, he can work on some sprints. Okay, at shortstop, Gene Segura. Uh, right now they have him set for vision, disc, and clutch. Uh, which I don't agree. His speed is okay. Um, his stealing is 59. I like him to steal. He stole in game two. Or was that game one he stole a base? And uh, got a big jump on it. I think it was game two. Um, so let's let's get his steal up. I like when he get on base, man. He can take off. So let's get that steal up. Base running drills for him. And then Taylor Motter is a backup shortstop. Let's see where he needs to improve at. Um, his clutch 35, this 65, vision 58. Um, but we can get his uh, contact up, guys. He got a 33 and a 34 contact. So let's get those. Let's get those up. Okay, we'll work on those batting cages. So he, we'll put him in the batting cages. Okay, left field, Mitch Hanniger. All right, how many minutes we on? 13 minutes, not bad. Mitch Hanniger. Um, uh, let's see, power, 62, 65. His speed, you know, he's, a, uh, he, he's gonna be in left field. He's gotta get that speed up to run balls down. So, and he, we can actually use him to steal too. Let's go ahead and get him on there like that. Increase that speed. Yeah, let's increase that speed, man. Okay, we're gonna get him to run sprints. And uh, uh, then we got Ben Gowers, our backup left fielder. Um, his stealing is eight. Yeah, so let's get his stealing up, guys. It's pretty low. Um, but his speed is 73. I like his speed right there. So we're gonna leave his speed, but we're gonna put base running drills, not on auto. Base running drills. There we go. We're just doing our, 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 our starters right now, guys. Um, there's D. Gordon, our center fielder. Um, look at his speed, 94, man. So we don't have to worry about him running. Look at his, look at his steal, 99 rating. And right now they have him with his vision. Um, let's work on his uh, his contact, man. It's only a 74. And it's, no, actually, let's get his power up. His power is 29 and 25 with... Uh, Right hander's 29, left hander 25. So he needs to get in the weight room, man. We, we need to get him. He's a slap hitter like an Ichiro. We want him to have a little bit of power. Look at his bunt, 97, a drag bunt, 97. 
Man, he's got really good numbers, man. That's why I want him to get on base. That's why he has to get on base. In our right field, um, in case Nelson Cruz, he's our uh, DH right now, but just in case he has to um, um, get on base, they got him listed as a right fielder. Um, let's see. Sometimes he does play right field if they need him out there. Uh, he's still four. I don't want him stealing. Um, let's see. His numbers really look good, man. Um, let's see. Physical, durability is pretty good. Arm strength. Arm acceleration is pretty good. Um, building. Now, we well, don't need to worry about building unless he's... I guess we could work on that if he's going to be out the field, man. His building and his reaction so he can get to these balls. Um, his speed is 30. I guess we could work on that. Um, but he's not really a, a outfielder per se, but he does play outfield, so let's get him going. So then we got Ichiro, guys. We got Ichiro. And we're gonna increase his power. He, he's, his speed is 50 because he's 44 years old. His stealing is 28. Um, yeah, but we're gonna get Ichiro's power going, man. He's a slap hitter, but we're gonna leave it just like it is. So we're gonna get Ichiro. We're gonna get the old man in the weight room, guys. We're gonna get him in the weight room. Um, but he's not really a power guy, so let's increase Ichiro's speed because he's old. We can get that 50 up. So there we go, speed. So we're going to have Ichiro run his sprints, maybe. It's hard to have a 44-year-old guy run his sprints and try to get speed out of him. I don't know, I don't know how that's going to work. Maybe we can get his steel up. Let's, let's do that. Let's get Ichiro's steel up, base running drills. Okay. Now, there we go, guys. We got everybody in there, got their training going. All right, guys, this is it, the video. This is how you do your training on your players. I guess you can find some kind of way to uh, keep up with it. Um, it looks like um, the scale at the top says minus one on a lot of them. I wonder if that's how you read their improvements. Um, I don't know how you can keep up with them unless you just write them down or just have a good memory on what their numbers were. So uh, hopefully, it, hopefully it'll show us improvements as we go check out their training. And uh, their numbers, guys, have their, have, if their overalls go up or down. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, man. This is how you do your training. Again, guys, we have to play the Minnesota Twins. And uh, that's going to be our next game is the Minnesota Twins. James Paxton going up against Micah Pineda. All right, guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you learned something, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. But if you like the video, hit that thumbs up button, guys. But if you're new to the channel, you want to join a great series with the Seattle Mariners, hit that subscribe button. Join the team of Hollywood Sports. And, guys, we can have fun together. This channel is all about having fun because this is where the stars hang out, baby, because we are in Hollywood. And as always, hopefully, I will see you guys on my next video. Thanks for watching.